Today you're going to learn how to recreate Houston Cold new editing style and make viral Instagram reels with it in this free masterclass. The new style is a lot simpler than his old videos but it's still pretty eye catchy and dynamic. I'll also provide a secret way on how you can animate 3D cameras inside of After Effects the faster and the easiest way and most editors don't know about it. So the first thing you'll have to do is simply create a new project, make a new composition, then you're gonna have to make a 1080 by 1920 composition for their Instagram reel format. Now the first step is to simply import your assets. Simply import it right there. Now what I'm going to do is simply create the pre-composition for each scenes. So as you can see if we analyze this animation right there, it has two scenes and it cuts right there. The first scene and that's the second scene. And both of them are using the 3D camera method. So that's what we're going to do right now. So to segment these scenes, what we're going to have to do is simply click on Ctrl Y to create a new solid and we're going to have to click on Ctrl C to make it uh, composition now in that pre-composition what you're gonna have to do is simply click on ctrl k and make it into a square composition like that you can remove the solid layer now the first thing that i'll do is simply import my background which is the lens flare overlay that Dustin cole uses often so i'm simply gonna use this one right there i'm gonna time it like that Alright, I'm gonna remove it when the blue comes in and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, uh, slower I mean. Okay, okay, so our background is done. The next step is to simply import our pictures. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And as you can see in the animation, the borders of the pictures are all rounded so what we're gonna do is simply select the rounded rectangle tool and simply do that on every layers all right now once this is done simply position your layer like that all right now simply do the same for every single pictures that you want to add into the composition And once this is said and done and everything is placed, the next step is to simply create a text that will supposedly be in the middle. So I'm simply going to create whatever. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Change the font. Alright. The color will be changed also. I'm going to put it in the middle like that. Now as you may notice in the original video, it was all animated in 3D with a 3D camera inside of After Effects and in order to do that you will have to convert every single of your layers into 3D, place them individually in the 3D space and create a new camera and an alt to control the 3D camera etc etc. It's a pretty long process but with this plugin right there you can actually do what all of the things that I just said earlier with the button of one click so it will save you a lot of time just by clicking on this button right there. And as you can see, everything got converted into 3D and placed accordingly in their position. So, as you can see, if I move around with the camera a bit, it's into 3D and there's a parallax effect. So what I'm going to do now is simply fix the positions of my layers and how I want them to be. So I'll just rotate this thing a little bit more like that. Alright, actually this one, I'm going to scale it up a little bit more like that. Right. 
Okay, so now the next step is to simply add the Gaussian blur effect to these two layers because as you may see in the video, there's two layers that are positioned actually because in the and because in the original animation there's two layers that is out of focus, so that's the effect we're gonna make sure to achieve. So I'm gonna put a Gaussian blur right on this layer. I'm gonna uncheck this thing right there and I'm gonna simply blur it like that. And I'm simply gonna copy this effect into this layer right there. And I'm also gonna make the text a little bit more blurry because it's too sharp. Okay, like that, this is good. So now let's create the animation. So simply select the null one. This is the, the null that control the 3D camera. And what we're gonna do is simply add two keyframes. And at the first keyframe, we're gonna zoom all the way in like that and simply adjust your keyframe for the speed and I'm simply gonna make it all smoother make a graph right Okay, and then at the end there's a zoom for the transition into the next scene so what we're gonna do is simply the same thing now what I'm gonna do is simply select all of my layers by clicking on ctrl A and simply add the motion blur everywhere so the animation can be all smoother so as you can see we got our first scene right there I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna use the rounded rectangle tool and round it up like we see in the original video like that I'm gonna scale it back up a little bit more now I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut the video right there and what I'm gonna do is simply add a new solid color make sure to make it into a pre-composition and I'm gonna do the second scene now I'm gonna also put this composition into a square dimension like that and as you can see in the second scene it's just a text with the same overlay in the different colors as the background and with arrows pointing at the text there's also a slight 3d camera animation so we're gonna do it so you know we're gonna pull out the background make sure to select the green overlay effect yeah this one is right there is good I'm gonna scale it up like that, alright, and I'm gonna cut it up here. Now what I'm gonna do is simply add my text. So I'll simply add this one right there. I'm gonna add the font that matches, the font that you can call added. So uh, the color will be like that. I'm gonna scale my my text a little bit more and I'm gonna squash it up by simply unlinking the scale proportions and relink it, it and simply scale it a little bit more again now what I'm gonna do is simply import my arrows and I'm simply gonna place them into the composition Let's rotate them scale them up and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it four times Now what you're gonna have to do is simply animate your text. So I'm simply gonna select it. I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna select the typewriter effect right there. And I'm simply gonna click on you while selecting my text. And as you can see the text is writing up, but to make it a little bit faster, simply 
make the second keyframe closer to the first one. Now what we're gonna have to do is simply convert everything into 3D again. So create a 3D camera and layers. Simply fix the couple messes like this. All right, you're gonna have to select the null right there. Click on P. Make two keyframes and make sure that the first keyframe will be the keyframe is where it is extended like that. And zoom out on the first keyframes. All right, now simply create your graph. Now you can go back and simply make sure that the animation, now what you can do is simply make sure that it fits with the other frame like that and make the rounded rectangle tool work like so. Now what you're gonna have to do is to simply place it after the first scene. So I'm gonna place it like right there. Now the only thing missing is the overlays. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna simply create a white solid and I'm simply gonna switch the mode into difference right there. So I'm gonna cut it like that. And now I'm simply gonna add some light leaks overlays and that's actually. So as you can see, it was pretty simple to recreate. This animation style is really simple to master. And if you wanna master it's old style, which is actually more complex and require more camera movements than that, you can watch this video right there. It will teach you a lot about the Houston Cool style and I hope to see you and I hope to see you there.